Welcome back to Carpinia, everybody, and thanks for joining us again. But today is a sad day, and you guys probably already have not even paid attention to me, but just staring at this damage on my baby. And uh, that happened yesterday. That was a uh, local law enforcement. Uh, apparently, when I was leaving a gas station, I left the gas pump, and uh, I was uh, leaving, and he did not see me. Well, I don't know if he just didn't look or what. Uh, apparently, they don't come with... Uh, backup cameras or anything like that or sensors on the police cruisers but either way he uh, drove over my car at like a mile to an hour and uh, all the way up to here and uh, that's that's how this happened if you guys are wondering and uh, we're sorting that out right now since it's a government it's a little more difficult to go through so but I promise you we'll get her up to we'll, we'll get her back to normal but let me explain the story to you further to obtain footage from the gas station they do have cameras uh, we haven't gotten it yet I don't know if it's because they just don't have a good angle and they're just not telling us and they're searching through it or not but they said they'd get it to me if they could which if we do get a hold of it I will show you guys but uh, what I'll what we'll do is just give you a great reenactment of what happened the following content could be disturbing to some viewers viewer discretion is advised Oh man, this is a great day. Just minding my own business. Ah, what could go possibly wrong with such a nice day? Oh sh! Oh, oh we need to go talk to that guy. Whoa, shit! Cars on fire! Holy crap! Crap! I'm out! I'm out! I'm out! Out this bitch! I can't believe you just ran into my car, sir. What are you talking about? Me? Yeah, you. Well, I didn't do this. Uh, yeah, you did. Bullshit. Oh, yeah, you uh, did it. We need to exchange information, sir. Uh, ex excuse me, I'm an officer of the law, sir. That doesn't excuse you from everything. Hey, I'm gonna have to ask you to calm your tone. I am very calm, sir. Hey, hey, settle down, buddy. Sir, I'm very calm right now. Oh my God, settle down. S sir, Are I'm you resisting? No, sir, I'm not resisting. I will f***ing tase you. I will you. you do, sir. I will f***ing tase no, you. No, sir, please, sir. Oh my God, hit the, the ground. Hit the ground. Hit the ground. Yeah. Hit the yeah. ground. <laughs> now tell me what's going on here, Johnson. Oh my God, Richard, it was crazy. This guy just ran into me. It was ridiculous. You've known me for how long? You refer to me as Dick. That's how I oh. go by. I'm sorry, Dick. I was a little riled up, man. It's had to go through this whole ordeal. I just had to tase this guy. So what happened? Man, he just... I was like here and he just came out of nowhere completely, completely ran into me. Luckily, the cruiser's okay. That's good. Not a lot of paperwork there. You know what, though? I'm not saying anything, but dead men tell no tales. You know, uh... He looked a little Middle Eastern anyways. Oh, well, we'd just be doing the country a favor. Well, yeah, that's the way I see it. I mean, it's an issue of national security, right? Yeah. Eat lead, you terrorist bastard. Wait, is that Cockwood coming? Oh, my God, it is. Oh, Dude. man, he is such a penis. Let's get out of here. Oh, let's go. So that is exactly how that happened. We didn't see it in this stuff at all. This is actual events that had happened. It was hard to find a good look and representation of me for this, but we got kind of close. I think, I think. But, you know, that's exactly how it went down. We didn't alter this. The, exactly. As you can tell, the headlight cover is uh, pretty much shot to hell. It's all broke up into pieces. Uh, the front nose, it was pushed in far enough that the paint is spider cracking if it wasn't removed and scuffed. And I just now noticed that the fog light has been knocked out of place as well. So some uh, it's not the worst uh, damage I could ask for, but it's definitely, uh, it sucks. So guys, it sucks that the car is broke, but that shouldn't keep me from doing general maintenance. So uh, Ross is CTSV and it needs done and uh, oh, oil change. And we're gonna do spark plugs and wires on this thing. And then possibly if we have time, get to reading a code on it. It keeps throwing it on and off. So we gotta wait for it to throw it. 
So uh, let's get to it. Let's do it. Hey guys, we uh, we dropped a plug somewhere in Nick's car, can't find it. We are going to run down to the parts store real quick and just buy another plug, because that's gonna be easier than digging for it. So we'll go grab that real quick and come right back. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's annoying. I guess I'm gonna put that one in again. That would be the most difficult one to get to. That's why it's can't get a good angle on it. Snapped it, so we'll do that again. All right, guys, spark plug number 10 in a V8. Yep, make fun of me if you will, but, uh, yeah, broke one. Got one more. Now I'm going to try and just put this in real quick. It's right under this dang brake booster. It's a pain in the ass. So see if I can get it in there. It sounds like it's running all right, so couldn't find the keys to my wife's car, so it's just going to be in the way. See how your plugs worked out? Test drive. Might have been one of the tools. Yep. <laughs> sounds, sounds like the, uh, <laughs> it's found the plug socket. I say, it didn't come out. Yep. Well. Already feels quicker than the Mitsubishi we drove to the parts store. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Woo. That's that's legit. I feel like she runs better. I feel like I don't know if that's the problem or not. I don't know. She uh, should be throwing her head back in. I, I don't know. That felt a felt like felt like you're gonna horsepower to me. Well, you're wrong. This is three thirty five. Sorry. <laughs> not two thousand one. Well, he's got stickers on it, so I mean, that's, that's probably the that's other. That's true. That's the other five. Like, so much faster <laughs> after driving that Mitsubishi. Oh, like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's quick. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad, man. Like, I'm really surprised. I mean, even the plugs you installed aren't screwed up. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> you can walk home, <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm careful. Yeah. I'll tell you what, man. It's still a quick car. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's still going. Alright, so all you guys. So all you guys watched it last week, uh, the check engine light had come on, but it went off, and it came on, it went off, and we can't seem to catch it on while we're around a code reader, and so uh, it's not, it's not throw, it's not keeping the code, whatever it is. Um, so we went ahead and just took a shot in the dark and uh, changed the plugs and wires. Figured it needed it anyways. So yeah, we'll catch it when it. Yeah, at some point we'll catch that dang light on, and we'll run the code and see what. Uh, see what's up with the car but it seems to be running pretty good right now I mean yeah so plugs and wires could have used it anyway so yeah it's we passed a hundred thousand mile mark on it so it, it also apparently needs like some kind of anti-cop <laughs> spray for that <laughs> anti-cop spray or something maybe they make a coating thing <laughs> put on the front of is, that does anybody know of, know of a device we can mount in here like they got radar blocker can we have like a a cop patrol car blocker sent it run into this yeah. thing. 
<laughs> so, anyways, uh, mm. yeah, not bad. So, runs pretty good. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool with it. Yeah, guys. So, yeah, I know some of you guys are wondering what was up with Nick's car. So, we, honestly, we wouldn't know if we fixed it because it was running way slower at the drag strip for some reason. He was doing terrible. And getting and getting slower throughout the night. So, something something was up. We don't know what was up, but I mean, it, feel, it felt strong. Me riding in it. I, Felt strong, like it pulled strong just now. So yeah, I don't know. I still don't think it's up to its norm, but it, it got a lot better. I hope you guys enjoyed the little thing we did. You know, and in all honesty, those those officers were extremely professional and very nice. So yeah, guys, this, yeah, yeah we're, it's we're just joking. Joke. Around. Yeah, it's a joke around. And, and uh, so, anyways, yeah, the the officers involved were fine. That's why, if don't be wrong, if something turns out crummy. You know, with this whole deal or somebody refused to pay, we are totally going to call them out. Yeah. But that's but, why we haven't mentioned uh, the, the department, the officer's name, anything like that. So. Yeah, they're extremely professional and very nice. They, they knew they did bad. Well, the one did. Yeah, the one did. <laughs> the the, uh, the uh, supervisor was not as uh, excited about that. The... That was pretty funny whenever he was like, i got to call my supervisor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's... That's uh, so. Anyways, yeah. So the the police was were uh, quite professional. So. Yeah, you know, normally they're like, uh, we gotta call the dog. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, normally when it's one of us, it's like it's like we're gonna have to call the dog out here. Yeah. So then one of us ends up getting shoved into a car, going, "Thought this was America." America. <laughs> so, so. Anyways, well, hope you guys had a good time. Uh, guess that's it for today, yeah, right? That's it. Thanks for joining us, guys. Peace. Peace.